When it comes to treating rare diseases, finding a cure can often feel like searching for a needle in a haystack. But for those suffering from conditions like acromegaly, carcinoid syndrome, and Cushing's disease, the search for relief may have ended with the discovery of octreotide. This miracle drug, first approved by the FDA in 1988, has revolutionized the way doctors approach treatment for these rare and often debilitating conditions. By mimicking the effects of the hormone somatostatin, octreotide is able to reduce the production of hormones that cause symptoms like excessive growth, diarrhea, and fatigue. And it's not just rare diseases that octreotide can help with the drug has also been used to treat certain types of cancer, and is currently being studied for its potential in treating other conditions like diabetes and Alzheimer's disease. In this video, we'll take a closer look at octreotide how it works, who it can help, and what the future holds for this groundbreaking treatment. Understanding Rare Diseases Rare diseases are those that affect a small number of people in the population. According to the National Institutes of Health NIH, a rare disease is defined as one that affects fewer than 200,000 people in the United States. While these diseases may be rare, they can still have a significant impact on those who suffer from them. Many rare diseases are genetic, meaning they are caused by mutations in a person's DNA. Others may be caused by environmental factors or a combination of both. One of the challenges of treating rare diseases is that there is often limited research and understanding of the condition. This can make it difficult for doctors to develop effective treatments. However, in recent years, there has been a growing focus on rare diseases, with increased funding for research and the development of new treatments. Octreotide is one such treatment that has shown promise in treating a variety of rare diseases. How Octreotide Works Octreotide is a synthetic version of the hormone somatostatin. Somatostatin is a hormone that is naturally produced in the body and plays a role in regulating the production of other hormones. By mimicking the effects of somatostatin, octreotide is able to reduce the production of certain hormones that can cause symptoms in conditions like acromegaly, carcinoid syndrome, and Cushing's disease. In acromegaly, for example, the body produces too much growth hormone, which can cause excessive growth of the hands, feet, and face, as well as other symptoms like joint pain and fatigue. By reducing the production of growth hormone, octreotide can help to alleviate these symptoms. In carcinoid syndrome, the body produces too much serotonin, a hormone that can cause diarrhea, flushing, and other symptoms. Octreotide can help to reduce the production of serotonin, which can lead to a reduction in symptoms. Conditions treated by octreotide. Octreotide is primarily used to treat rare conditions like acromegaly, carcinoid syndrome, and Cushing's disease. In addition to these conditions, the drug has also been used to treat certain types of cancer. For example, octreotide can be used to treat neuroendocrine tumors, which are a type of cancer that affects the cells that produce hormones. These tumors can produce excessive amounts of hormones, which can cause a range of symptoms. By reducing the production of these hormones, octreotide can help to alleviate symptoms and slow the progression of the cancer. Benefits of Octreotide Treatment one of the biggest benefits of octreotide treatment is that it can significantly improve quality of life for those suffering from rare diseases. Many of these conditions can be debilitating, making it difficult for people to perform everyday tasks or enjoy their lives. By reducing symptoms like excessive growth, diarrhea, and fatigue, octreotide can help people with these conditions to feel better and regain some of their independence. In addition to improving quality of life, Octreotide treatment has also been shown to be effective in slowing the progression of certain types of cancer. For example, in one study, patients with neuroendocrine tumors who received octreotide had a longer time to disease progression than those who received a placebo. This suggests that octreotide may be an effective treatment for certain types of cancer. Side Effects of Octreotide Treatment Like any medication, octreotide can cause side effects. Some of the most common side effects include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. These side effects are usually mild and go away on their own after a few days. In rare cases, more serious side effects can occur, such as allergic reactions or changes in heart rate. Dosage and administration of octreotide. Octreotide is typically administered by injection, either subcutaneously, under the skin, or intravenously, into a vein. The dosage and frequency of the injections will depend on the condition being treated and the patient's individual needs. For example, in the treatment of acromegaly, octreotide is usually given by injection every four weeks. In the treatment of carcinoid syndrome, octreotide may be given by injection two to three times per day. Octreotide versus other treatment options. Before the discovery of octreotide, treatment for rare diseases like acromegaly, carcinoid syndrome, and Cushing's disease was limited. 
surgery to remove tumors or glands that were producing excessive hormones was often the only option. While surgery can be effective, it is not always possible or advisable, especially in cases where the tumors are not easily accessible. Today, octreotide is considered the first-line treatment for many of these conditions. However, there are other treatment options available, including other medications and radiation therapy. The choice of treatment will depend on the individual patient's needs and the nature of the condition being treated. Research and studies on octreotide. While octreotide has already proven to be a valuable treatment for a variety of rare diseases, research is ongoing to explore its potential in treating other conditions. For example, one study found that octreotide may be effective in reducing insulin resistance in patients with type 2 diabetes. Another study found that octreotide may be able to slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease by reducing the production of beta amyloid, a protein that is associated with the disease. In addition to these studies, researchers are also looking at ways to improve the delivery of octreotide. One approach is to use nanoparticles to deliver the drug directly to tumor cells, which could increase its effectiveness and reduce side effects. Alternative medications to consider. Lanreotide. Lanreotide is an alternative medication to octreotide that also acts as a somatostatin analog. It binds to somatostatin receptors and helps regulate hormone levels. Lanreotide is used in the treatment of acromegaly, carcinoid syndrome, and neuroendocrine tumors. It is available as a long-acting injection. Pasiriotide. Pasiriotide is another somatostatin analog that can be considered as an alternative to octreotide. It has a broader binding profile, targeting additional somatostatin receptors. Pasiriotide is used in the treatment of Cushing's disease and acromegaly. It is available as a long-acting injection. Sandostatin. Sandostatin is another medication that contains octreotide as its active ingredient. It is used in the treatment of acromegaly, carcinoid syndrome, and certain gastrointestinal disorders. Sandostatin is available as a subcutaneous injection and as a long-acting formulation. Vapriotide. Vapriotide is a somatostatin analog that can be considered as an alternative to octreotide in certain cases. It is used in the treatment of acute bleeding from esophageal varices in patients with liver cirrhosis. Vapriotide is typically administered as an intravenous injection. Conclusion. Octreotide is a miracle drug that has revolutionized the treatment of rare diseases like acromegaly, carcinoid syndrome, and Cushing's disease. By reducing the production of hormones that cause symptoms, octreotide can significantly improve the quality of life for those suffering from these conditions. In addition to its use in rare diseases, octreotide is also being studied for its potential in treating other conditions like diabetes and Alzheimer's disease. While there is still much to learn about this groundbreaking treatment, it is clear that octreotide has already made a significant impact on the lives of many people. Thanks for watching.